So now everybody's coming around to what I've been saying for a long time, whether it's Glenn Greenwald or Jed Lewison at uh, Daily Coast or Jane Hampshire. Now, those guys were on board anyway. Uh, but now congressmen and senators, as I'm about to read to you, uh, which is, oh, it turns out Obama never wanted the public option in the first place. Of course! How long have I been saying that on the show? And then you get the Obama lovers who are like, oh, no, Jake, no, 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 it's not right. It's so comfy in here on inside Obama's ass. You can't criticize him. No, he must have our best intentions at heart. Don't you see the rainbows and butterflies that constantly surround him? Well, he doesn't. He was lying about the public option. So now let's go to United States congressmen and senators who have caught on. Representative John Conyers from Michigan. The president keeps listening to Rahm Emanuel. No public option. No extending Medicare to 55. No nothing. An excise, an excise tax. God, the insurance lobby is taking over. That's what John Conyers says about Obama's efforts here at health care reform. David Obi from uh, Wisconsin says the White House has been useless. Useless. He's the chairman of the powerful appropriations committee on, in the House side, and he said it's ridiculous, and the Obama administration is sitting on the silence, sidelines. That's nonsense. That's Obi. Now we, you haven't had enough, right? Let's go to Weiner. Uh, Anthony Weiner, congressman uh, from New York, uh, says. Snow, Stupak, Lieberman, who left these people in charge? It's time for the president to get his hands dirty. Some of us have compromised our compromised compromise. We need the president to stand up for the values of our, that our party shares. We must stop letting the tail wag the dog of this debate. Now, if all that wasn't clear enough for you, here comes Senator Russ Feingold from Wisconsin. This bill appears to be legislation that the president wanted in the first place. So I don't think focusing it on Lieberman really it's the truth. I think they could have been higher. I certainly think a stronger bill would have been uh, better in every respect. And uh, he also said later that uh, apparently the president never wanted the public option in the first place. Never wanted the public option in the first place. That is inescapable. At, that, at this point, if on top of all the evidence we have now, you're still not convinced well, I got news for you. I hate to break it to you, but you're biased. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, we could even call each other biased, et cetera. But you can't take off your blinders. Hey, look, I voted for Obama. I supported Obama. But you look at the facts. You can't be immune to the facts. The facts are obvious. He never wanted the public option. And in fact, at every turn, he fought against it. He'd send Rahm Emanuel out and go, come on, come on, come on, let's do trigger, let's do trigger. And then he gets knocked down. And he says, oh, come on, come on, let's do it. Listen, we've got to listen to Olympia Snow. We've got to listen to Joe Lieberman. We've got to listen to Ben Nelson. Okay? So now we have this watered-down bill that has enormous problems with it. 